Hey everyone, it's a beautiful day here today, and don't mind my dirty car, but today we are going to be fixing the problem I caused. So, I might have gotten a little bit uh, torque happy last time I put back on these calipers, and I put these calipers on wrong, well, I put them on right, but one of my screws, it stripped, and so here's what it looks like now, and I'll explain what happened, but anyhow, uh, I had to bang this out with a sledgehammer because it actually went right in here, right there. It was what holds on the rotor when you first put it on. But anyhow, I broke it. So it stripped out, and I went in and I got a screw removal kit. And it was to basically back out the screw, as I don't know if anybody's tried it before, but it didn't work. So I ended up putting the piece in there to remove the screw. I took a sledgehammer to it, and I knocked this out the back. So today I'm going to be putting this back in the, uh, inside the hub so that I can screw the rotor back down to the hub because at the moment it just, it moves. It moves bad. It doesn't move while I drive though. The wheel holds it on. But anyhow, I will be putting this back in today and I'll be securing this hub again. Well, the rotor to the hub so hopefully everything goes right. Maybe I'll paint these calipers soon. <clears throat> Fix these up. Uh, make them look a little bit shiny. Maybe go with red. I'm thinking about doing some red to this car. Make it like a black and red, a little bit uh, cool. I'll make it cool, like uh, something that you see that blends into the night, but at the same time stands out during the day. <clears throat> so anyhow, I got nobody recording for me today, so I'm doing this all by myself. So I'm gonna do a little bit of camera flipping, and I'm also going to probably be holding it in tight and just trying to get this done. So let's get this cal. Let's get this caliper off. But first, what am I saying? Let's get the caliper off because I gotta get the rotor off to fix this hub. There we go. So anyhow, first the caliper comes off. There's two screws in the back. I'm gonna go over here and grab it. Uh, if I remember right, it's an 18 millimeter. It is really hot today, so I'm sweating a lot. So 18 millimeter secured. And let's hope I got the right size. So it was 18 millimeter back right there and I'm in tiny mode so I need being loose no I wasn't loose <sighs> so hard sometimes thinking about it this is how I check give them a tiny some all right so tighten Loosen. So I was in the right position. I guess. So. Time to get in here and remove this bolt. So I'll put it underneath. Hopefully you can see. There we go. And it is on there. Good. I just use my hands sometimes with a little hammer and try to bang it. Let's try this bottom one real quick. Okay, same size. And don't mind all the dirt, it's just really dirty lately. And there goes one. We got really dirty. The camera went. So that's one loosened up like that. And it's just hand loose. So now we're going to break the top one for real quick. The same way we broke the bottom one. Actually, just using our ratchet. I'm going to break my phone. I got sledgehammers, but none next to me at the moment, so either gotta break this by hand or by tapping it with this other ratchet.
I actually broke that with my thigh. That was tight. Probably put that one on a little bit too tight. Anyhow, both are broken loose. I remove the bomb ones first. I always like removing the bomb ones. It's usually a little bit easier. Uh, see, now I go knocking my phone off again. Heck of a job. Heck of a job. And it's very hot out here, so it's going like crazy. Anyhow, bottom one's off. Dude, look at my thighs. Like, look at that. Like, that's from me breaking it. See, I put it on my thigh. And I broke it, but it leaves me. It, leaves my, it left my thigh dirty because of all the dirt back here. Anyhow, on to the top one. Sorry, I'll go take a shower after this. So I'll clean it up and then I'll probably get dirty again tomorrow working on my car. But that's just how it goes. So. Probably have to use the ration and just try my best on this one. Because this uh, rotor's not secure. So I'm working with a moving rotor. So I gotta make sure that. It doesn't move. I mean, why remove this? Okay. So I back it out pretty far. See if I can remove it by hand. And I think I can. Feel it coming. Boom, it broke loose. There it is. Alright, so that's down. And my brake line's long enough, so I usually just set these on a piece of wood. Or on the ground behind. And off can come the road, which there it goes. Off it is. Really, really dirty camera after that. Anyhow, here we are cleaning off. See, there's the hole right there. And I could probably bang it in from the back, but I got another chance. So I'm going to take the screw out. Boom. Removed. In the back, there's a little bitty grooves in it. And I'm just going to line it up. Now I bought this screw here. And this screw's got a nice head to it. Because the reason being is we're going to put a couple of washers over this. And thread this into it. And hopefully this will pull it through. And the washers are there to give me a good face. Probably should do it a little bit different than that though. I don't want that big washer towards my side. I probably want more towards the back. I probably want to double up the washers. Got three washers. Deal with this. And that's so I don't have to screw it in so much. And this also to give me a better padding with the screw. Anyhow, okay, it's tight. Let's see what it is. Nope. All right, it's a 716. All right. So we're just gonna pop it on. Hopefully you can see all that well. So we're just gonna pop it on, and I'm just gonna tighten it down. Oh no, it's not 716. It's spinning. I thought it was. My bad. And it's not this one. This is the next small size of half. Oh, I'll find something that fits. All right, this is a 10. And look at that, it's just pulling right in. Right there, ah. See, that's the one problem with nobody recording for me. Nobody wanna to record today. All right, anyhow. We'll do this, we'll get it recorded for you guys. So there it is, right there. 
I'm gonna do a neat job. My car, ah! Hold still. It's pulling in though. Trust me, it's pulling in. Ah. I got one turn. And I got two, and I got three. Okay. Put it back down so you can watch. And I'm just going to stick this in here like this. To push against me. In case it gets tough. And one more. All right, so that looks pretty well snug. We're just going to back out the screw now. And the screw's in there pretty good, I'm guessing, so. We'll hold it again. All right. And so we're just going back to screw out. Oh, that worked pretty well. And that was like 6 or $7 at Ace Hardware for all this stuff. Because I got to get, I had to get a new screw, too. So, boom, those washers really came in handy. I didn't have to screw it in as much. and It also provided more of a surface for me to press against. All right, so it's back in there. And see, there it is. Right there in the hole. Where it belongs. And it's flush on the back, so I'm all good. I'm all good. And I'm going to put this back down real quick. I'm going to put it right underneath so you can see it. And, and boom. There, all fixed, all fixed. So, new screw, new screw. Please go in, please go in, please go in. Yay, it went in. Okay, but this is not the exact same screw as what came off of here. It's a little bit different. It's a different head, basically. I I got a machine screw, though. One that I felt like was up to this task. But it's got a different head. It's got a little octagon head. So, I just got to get the right size. Well, let me find the size, and I'll show you. One thing got a little bit too big. All right. Boom. There we go. So this time I'm not going to over tighten it like I did before. That was the reason the whole thing stripped out. And it was a real pain. But I seen I stuck out the camera. Doing the camera. See? And. And we're going to check, see it's tight. Go hold it, hold it. See, tight but not over torqued. I don't want this one to break. I do not want this one to come off. See, and it's on there. So now I'm going to put the caliper back on and I'm going to get this all fixed up. Sorry for the shakiness. I'm going to get camera stabilized, I promise. Uh, but I'm going to get this all tightened up and then I'm going to put my wheel back on. I'm good for the night. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. And uh, if anybody can do anything about the heat in Texas, please do anything. I don't mind the heat so much. It's more of the humidity. It just really, really bothers you. You know what I mean? If you live in Texas, just all this heat. See, like, it's just turned on face. So I got paper towel. Whew. But see, now I got to wipe off my legs, too, because I got all that dirt on it. Okay. So anyhow, I'm going to quit rambling. I'm going to get this finished. Thanks for watching. Don't break your ca don't break your car like I broke my car. And I broke this thing quite a few times. I got something else messed up with it. I do not know what it is at the moment, but I can shake my when I sh have a wheel on here and you shake it and you know how like it's not supposed to move. This here was just replaced. This was just replaced. I think I got some a little bit farther up that's still messing with me, but I'll figure that out at a later date. I promise. I'll get that fixed. I'll put it in the video. Maybe we'll see if if I can figure out what it is. If not, I might have to go see if somebody can tell me what it is. But at the moment, I got this fixed. I got the part I need fixed, fixed. And that's it for this video. So be sure to watch all my other videos and subscribe and come back for the next video. I got a couple surprises in store and I maybe, maybe something cool coming to the channel in the future. So be sure to subscribe so that you, and turn on the notification bell so you can see it in the future.